We're gonna get into combat now. I know you're upset, but it's for a good cause. It's out of jump range, but Looks like that's where robots are. Not too far away from where uh, my freighter is. Guess we'll head along this way. And as we're heading that way, we'll check the planets and see if we can find any ancient bones. Discover synthetic creatures, synthetic life signs detected on a nearby world. Which nearby world? Activated indium dioxide cobalt, indium gold silver high sentinel activity, indium uranium sodium, activated ammonia magnetized, activated dioxide magnetized high sentinel. A lot of activated stuff. Using planet, poisonous planet, contaminated planet, metallurgic planet, and ultramarine planet. Just a synthetic <laughs> detected on a nearby planet. Well. Go here first. Floating metal clusters. And we'll just land and get our bearings. A bubble. Can I feed this bubble? Can I give it creature pallets? Can I make it my friend? I can offer it food. Why, well, hello. I cannot adopt because my companion register is full. You can only have two, huh? But I will extract these quote unquote berries from it. Thank you, friend. Hexaberry. My companion would like to come out. What do you think? He's pretty good. Alright, anything nearby worth checking out? Wonder how I find these robot creatures. Yeah, that's the current thing. Use analyst advisor scan to scan creatures. Scanning creatures are new. Synthetic creatures are rare and found only on empty worlds. Blue class star systems are more likely to contain empty worlds. Travel to a blue system may require specialist hyperdrive. This is kind of an empty world, yeah. Something tells me. Contaminated planet. Is probably where they're at because there's so many bases built there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Another person. Starship communications. The Sentinel Interceptor does not open fire, instead it falls in line with my flight path and opens a communication channel. Foreign body detected. Descent. Offer assistance. Before I can respond, the ship is gone. 
Sentinel Linus said Pursuit News reported ship appears to be in distress. Consult Galaxy Map. My hyperdrive has no fuel. However, I do kind of want to go and do that. And we will. Right after we do this. That's curious, I've never run into an event like that. I thought it was gonna be a bug and it was just gonna be like a traitor. These definitely look like synthetic creatures. Do those guys count? Yeah, it's the only two fauna that are on here. Does that mean I gotta go somewhere else? I could check the moon. Did those guys count towards my expedition? They did. Great. First time seeing synthetic creatures. It's pretty cool looking. What's going on, Robo Guy? I can feed them an ion battery. Tug at wires. And we get chewy wires. I cannot companion you, but guess what? I would gladly lose this companion buddy you can only customize your appearance give treats ride gently pat you is there no way to there you go companion register oh it just cost 500 nanites to make a new slot do that. Time to put you away. You just drop. Hmm. Adopt as a companion. the other one. This is the other one. Tappy. Running around all fast. Just scanned for reasons unknown. Broken hearted. Give you an ion battery as a treat. Gently pat you. Gently pat you again. Come here, you. I give you food. Took it wires. Also gives me chewy wires. Um, I will also go to my companion register. A thousand nanites. It's all my nanites. Just so I can adopt this creature. So you're the one I fed, right? No, where's the one that I fed at? There you are. Adopt as a companion. Flow Flow. Alright, Flow Flow, I gotta get out of here. Or I should say we gotta get out of here. Le oh, goodbye. It actually talks in words. Because it's a synthetic creature. Alright, yeah. Let's go check the moon.
Just want to see if there's any creatures nearby. There are these guys. We did it. It's a lie. We discovered three synthetic creatures. Back in my ship. Beautiful. We get a multi tool class upgrade, so our multi tool is going to go from B to an A. The Minotaur Geo Bay plans, prepackaged Minotaur AI pilot unit, and Minotaur technology blueprints. I have yet to make a base for any of these things. Makes me think making a base is probably going to be our next thing. Or definitely something that we do need to do. I think we start heading towards the fourth rendezvous point. But we should also go see that Sentinel Interceptor. Set approximate locations right here. But now it's starting to look like maybe the approximate location is unknown. Sentinel Interceptor's been located where? Ah. There it is. Looks like it crashed. Can't tell if it's upside down or not. Shard UV. Requires an inverted mirror and a harmonic brain. Well, luckily we are here and I can go and find those. There's one. We're gonna get into combat now. There we go. Hey guys, I know you're upset, but it's for a good cause. So I'm just gonna retrieve Halion Brain from Sentinel Interceptor, reach your water level in space to engage system authorities. Hey, you jerks. Come get me. Come on, I'm over here. Come get me. Let's head to space.
just gonna leave. Just like that. showed up and then took off. There it is. Where are we all fighting on planet? Something's taking damage. Me and you are in a fight. Got a high island brain. Let's go land next to this thing. You must have me mistaken for somebody else. You detect nothing. There we go. Let's just find another one. Locate the ancient site in the dreams of this mind. It's outside. Because whatever's going on out there has nothing to do with me. I definitely did not cause any of this. And if you think I did, well, you're wrong. I don't have that much in Lantium, sorry guy. They could go get some though, we are on an Lantium rich planet. What's up, buddy? Do you got something you want to say to me or some things in the sky getting taken out by players? Oh, it looks like just the one player. We need a harmonic brain. How do I get a harmonic brain? Uh, the brain has yielded memory of an ancient self. Restore this archive to harmonize with the brain. A harmonic brain is required for the pilot interface over it. What's up, buddy? I mean, you don't got problems. Here, I think you're mistaking me for somebody else. All right, we need to go to that ancient site. Oh. 
This is where we need to be. Learn words. We can learn words like entity. And is. Go over here. The. Uh, now we know these languages in the Corvax language. The ancient site stirs as I approach. Stone scraping against stone. Warmth radiates from the highland brain within my pack, as though in response. The mind of the ship child is interlocked with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies. Immense archival sentence with surrogate entity. Was that brain? I fumbled with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably hot in my hands. The pain radiates far beyond my hands, an unearthly heat. A heat that melts the glass. Glass? Its circuitry shifts and then growls still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. And now we have a harmonic brain. Let's go back and get ourselves a sentinel ship then. Someone built a base like right next to this. Let me repair you now. It's a B class. Compare it to mine. It's got a whole different setup than mine. Let's see. Thirty nine, twenty seven, mine six and seventy three. Damage potentials higher, shield strength is lower. Hyperdrive range is a lot higher. It says lower. Maneuverability. I mean, the hyperdrive range is really great. I know that I'm going to be needing to travel a lot soon. Uh, I'm going to claim it and add it to my collection. So it'll show up on my freighter, but I don't see a need to use it right this moment. But we are going to be doing a lot of traveling. And if that ship can travel a lot further than this one, hyperdrive wise, then it may be worth swapping out. And then I will summon out my freighter. Go inside. Here, I have now switched everything over into our Sentinel Starship, which is known as the Purged Pie. Pretty sure that's the symbol for pie. Um, it had, I want to say, more cargo space. At least it also has potential for more cargo space as well. And I think maybe just a little less when it came to slots for this we have a phase beam and we have a sentinel cannon I'm gonna add the rockets on here too the thing is is that the hyperdrive range on this is so much further than on our other ship so I think we're gonna stick with using the purge pie going forward with our expedition because we can travel a lot farther and get to the uh, rendezvous points a lot quicker. So, can also take all of these with us too. I think a lot of what we are doing in the expedition now has to do with going and doing stuff. I 
as opposed to needing to create or make things. Like that wants us to go and look for bones. This wants us to go and harvest. That wants us to create something. So that might be where we need certain materials to do that. That wants us to go and do something. That's the rendezvous. Uh, that wants us to go and do something. That wants us to cook our own food, which is like going and getting things off of a planet, ingredients and stuff like that. That wants us to go do something. That wants us to go do something. That wants us to go do something. So it's a lot of that. Right now, we just want to go excavate. Excavate. Bit of a difficult word for me to pronounce. And we are going to work on pronouncing that more in the next episode. We're so very close to the end of this expedition. For what I have left of editing is just one video with over two and a half hours of footage. And that all gets broken down. So next week may just be the last video. If not next week, maybe the week after that guess we'll all just have to stay tuned and find out what happens. And who knows, maybe once I'm done, the next expedition will be out, and we'll just continue on from there. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of No Man's Sky Adrift. Goodbye.